Hey you guys, Sean Hammond with PremierGuitar.com. We are at Summer NAM in Nashville, talking to Scott from Martin Guitars. Scott, tell us about this. Uh, good to see you, man. It's still you. <laughs> Nashville, you, man. Here we go. Coffee's still kicking in. Um, you guys have a bunch of new guitars here at the show. This is the one that screams out the most. It's this is part of a something you started last year, right? That's correct. This is the second guitar we're offering with the artwork of William Matthews, who's in the house. Thank you. He's a uh, famous painter of the Western scenes. And uh, this is a triple O guitar with a beautiful quilted mahogany on the back, triple O 12 fret, uh, Sitka spruce that has our VTS conditioning to it uh, to make it sound like an old top right off the bat and beautiful head work, head uh, plate artwork also. Get a saddle on there. Correct, a bandolero saddle I believe it's called. and. Uh, uh, this will be available only for purchases in 2016. So we did a 2015 model and we're back for number two. Cool. Willie, come in here. We'll introduce Willie real quick. Willie. Hey, John. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Say hello to the folks out in Premier Guitar Land. How are you, folks? So um, you started this adventure with Martin last year, right? Doing. Uh, the I first did. model last year? I did. You know, Chris Martin asked me to do a cowboy guitar maybe 20 years ago, and it took that long to get the technology right so that we could really do an incredible job. But about three years ago, they finally figured this out, and uh, last year we did the very first, and this is the second, and I'm more proud of this than I can imagine. I bet. Yeah. So. How did Chris was just a fan and he just reached out to you, or were you guys already friends? We, well, we uh, met at the Telluride Bluegrass Festival where I'd started doing the poster since 1984. And early on, and he knew that I was painting cowboys. And uh, early on, he said, You know, we'd love to do something that honored the cowboy. And uh, sometimes these projects take a long time and uh, they take a lot of thought. But, uh, you know, this is the. Uh, this is the end result of a lot of a lot of work. Nice. Is there anything you want to tell us about the the well, genesis of this scene? Is it an existing thing you had done before, or a, like a reproduction of what you'd done before, or? No, well, I did this painting specifically for this guitar, and uh, you know it honors the tradition of painting buckaroos in northern Nevada that I've been doing for 35 years, and this is a buckaroo out there. He's wearing tapaderos on his saddle, which are the uh, stirrup covers, which you can see in the inlay at the very top. And, uh, and they're swinging out there. The painting is called Tapaderos. And for people who know the, the Spanish tradition of uh, horsemanship and saddles, they'll understand exactly what the painting is and why it's significant. Well, it's beautiful. Thanks. Thanks, Sean. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks for joining us to tell us about it. You bet. Nice work. Thank you. So, Scott, you guys have this and two others we were going to mention real quick, right? Certainly, yes. So, this is available only in 2016. Make sure you see your dealer for your order. Thank you. Do you know uh, how much is it going to go for? Yes. This has a MSRP of $49.99, sir. Okay, next up, it looks like you got a slope shoulder here. This is a uh, Dreadnought 12 fret. It's, we're still celebrating the centennial of the dreadnought shape. 1916, the Ditson uh, Company commissioned this larger size guitar. It was initially called the bass guitar. So that ran from uh, 1916 to 1931. This is a replica of the first branded Martin dreadnought. Be previous to that, it was branded for the Ditson Company, so this was made for the Chicago Musical Instrument Company, I believe it's called. And uh, we foregone putting Chicago Musical Instrument on the backstrip as it would have been when it was first produced. Uh, the, uh, the, our brand is in the back of the headstock as it would have been. Uh, Brazilian rose, uh, rosewood head plate just as original. So torified spruce top and done in the custom shop. Hide glue construction, just state-of-the-art construction, and this is a... Did you say mahogany back inside? It is. Mahogany is very lightweight. You feel it, very resounding, and... Uh, uh, it, looks like, it looks like it has a pretty wide string spacing, 
It does the original, right? It does. The original guitars at this time period would have had a larger, uh, sort of almost classical like feel to it. Indeed, and the crossover didn't happen yet to a yeah. one and eleven sixteen. So it's a it's a meaty neck, but uh, this one feels pretty comfortable in the hands for even being that wide string spacing. Yeah. You want to give it a strum real quick oh. before we move on to the next one? I would love to give it a strum all day. Very nice. All right, let's grab the last one. Will do. Okay, Scott, this is the last one you're showing us for the day. You guys have a few more that people can check out online. We'll tell them where to go in a second, but tell us about this one. So, might look a little familiar to you. It's a takeoff on the Clarence White original uh, guitar that Tony Rice has now. So, it's limited, limited to 100. The guitar that Tony uh, Clarence had was a Martin body and they grafted in, I believe it was a, might have been a Gretsch neck. And it went into the sound hole. So we didn't replicate that part of it, we did it more Martin type, but it's a big herringbone uh, takeoff on a herringbone dreadnought. The sound hole seems it, it a lot is, bigger, right? It's enlarged. Uh, from the wear, the, the original was enlarged uh, one ring or so. And so porting a guitar body slightly different gives you a slightly tone. Uh, slightly different tone. Is it better or worse than the regular port we have? It's just different. So Does it, it feel a little more diffuse. It seems or? open. Yes, yes, more open. So anybody who in, enjoys, you know, speaker technology too would understand the porting of a, a box makes it sound different. So uh, you can tune it differently. So this is more enveloping, especially for the it's player. Very, it's very airy. Yes, yeah. it's very airy. It's not like a side, uh, side port, but uh, you, uh, it definitely responds differently with that port. It is rare uh, Guatemalan rosewood. It's gorgeous. Back, gorgeous. Uh, and, uh, is that an Adirondack top? Or? It is an Adirondack top. Also done out at a custom shop with high glue construction, limited to 100. So big open bluegrass sound for the uh, big drum uh, dreadnought picker and strummer. How much is this going for? All right, offhand, I do not know, so I'm going to check my reference. <laughs> 79.99 MSRP. Nice, and we missed the other one. That one's going for, where is it, $69.99, right? That's right. That's lit, that. uh, so That's it's going to be less than that, obviously, for street price. Well, I sure hope we could hold hold it to those uh, MSRPs, but uh, the dealers discount usually, and yeah. uh, there's, a, of course, map pricing, and et cetera. So, yeah, street price would most probably be less. Is that political enough? <laughs> Yeah, that's about it. That's good. That's good level of politicalness. Um, so, why don't you tell people where to go online to check out this stuff, all the other new stuff, and you know, Certainly. the bajillions of other guitars you guys do. Uh, MartinGuitar.com. To the show, we brought all of January new product featuring the Fishman Enhanced Electronics. That's still big. Uh, celebrating the centennial, we're showing uh, uh, the Ballad of the Dreadnought movie uh, in a screening room right. uh, all week. So, we're very proud of that and. Uh, just looking forward to a strong end of end of the year. We we, we have tons of pro product for the traditional and the new player, and uh, I think we have something for everybody. Cool. Thank you, Scott, for joining us. Thank Thanks you for so joining much us. Premier Guitar. You're welcome, man. Thanks for joining us, guys. Sean Heyman for PremierGuitar.com.